Hey y'all, so I just have to pop this little clip up in a video real quick. I did release my own self-improvement podcast. It's called Shar Blossoms Podcast. So um, I have spiritual topics that I'll be talking about on there, self-improvement and lifestyle topics. So if you have not tuned in, you can tune in on the Anchor app or on Spotify. So continue watching. Hello all, it's your girl Shar, and I am back. I am back for another weight loss video so i decided that it's been a couple years or at least yeah it's been a couple years i was gonna say at least a year but it's definitely been a couple years since i felt like i had a detailed like weight loss video on my channel and i feel like i have a few more subscribers than i used to have and people that just follow me on social medias and i wanted to kind of update things because a lot of people don't really know about my weight loss journey a lot of people think that i don't know like i just look like this no i definitely lost around 70 pounds and i've been maintaining that 70 pound late uh weight loss for i want to say two and a half years going on three years so what i have today for you guys I have a few questions that I have been asked a few times. So these are pretty much like almost like frequently asked weight loss questions. I'm just going to go through them. And yeah, so I have them written down here. One of the questions here is what is my current weight? So the last time I weighed myself was probably around like one month ago. Yeah, close to one month ago. And it was at the gym, I was 128. I was, yeah, I was 128, definitely. So, a question that I have here is, how long did it take for me to lose weight? So, how long did it take for me to lose weight? It took me around one year to lose 60 pounds and yeah so one year that's the answer for that one and another question that i have here is how do i stay motivated how do i pretty much stay motivated to even live a healthy lifestyle so there is no secret there's really no motivation i think in the beginning of a lot of people's weight loss journeys um, you might have a ton of motivation, but the longer that you continue on your weight loss journey, you, you will definitely realize that you will not always be motivated. Every day when you wake up, you will not always hundred percent be motivated to go to the gym. You won't. Even if you know why you want to go to the gym. It won't always be easy getting there. I don't know why. It's just like that for people. It's like that for me too. So pretty much my answer is I learned to discipline myself. I tell myself, this is something that you have to do. This is something that's going to better you. This is something that's going to improve you. This is something that's going to improve your health. Not only just the physical um, exterior. It's going to improve. It's going to improve you from the inside out. It's all for improvement. So when you know this, it will help you out so much. So that is my answer to how I stay motivated, self-discipline, discipline. And then I have another question here, which I think it's a very, very good question. This is what made me wanna lose weight. So I'm not sure the exact year, but I just know this was pretty close to around the time that I started like, um, changing you know how i ate and stuff like that so honestly i wanted to lose weight because i felt like on my right side specifically like underneath my rib cage area i felt like i always had some sort of pain there and so i was talking to my, one of my friends about it and she was telling me that she recently just had her gallbladder removed and she was telling me that I need to get mine checked out, that the symptoms sound very, very similar to what she has been experiencing for like the past couple years. So go to the doctor, whatever, whatever. 
and I tell them what my concerns are. I tell them what my current pain is. And he literally tells me that I need to fix my posture. He tells me that I need to fix my posture. And not only that, I had insurance and then I still ended up spending over a grand on a doctor bill for him to tell me to fix my posture. There was no medicine subscribed. Uh, subscribe. <laughs> there was no medicine prescribed. And that was that, like that literally was it. So he told me that I needed to fix my posture. So I thought that that was something a little weird. I thought something wasn't right about that answer. I thought that there was more to it. So I was talking to the doctors or whatever, and somehow, some way, they were able to get me scheduled to give me an ultrasound so I can really see what was going on inside my body. Had to pay, had to pay like a deposit for that. But I was like, I don't even care. My insurance don't really cover this, but I want to know what's wrong with me. So they end up doing an ultrasound. They ended up doing an ultrasound. They didn't see anything. There was no issues. And I was like in my very early 20s at the time. So I was just like, okay, number one, I feel like I'm too young to be going through this. Number two, I feel like if I can change this, then I need to do that. I don't know what it was about that whole situation, but it was just like a wake up call for me. It's because I don't want to be in my early 20s already having like just health issues, if that makes sense. And, you know, I know that everybody's situation is different, but that's just what it was for me. So honestly, that is the number one main thing that made me want to change my lifestyle. And I have another question here. It says, how did I know how much weight that I wanted to lose? So this may sound really bad. This, like in the beginning of my journey, I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I was comparing myself to other people. I wanted to know what they weighed, what their height was, because I wanted to be their exact weight. I'm like, oh yeah, like I want to be her size. So I was just like kind of based in my weight, my weight loss goal, like around like, you know, what theirs was pretty much or what they have accomplished, I should, I should say. So yeah, so I didn't, I did have a weight goal on mine and it pretty much was exactly where I was at when I lost weight, very weird. But yeah, so I guess that I wanted to be around like 130-ish and I'm here. So, and I've been maintaining that for a couple years. So I'm pretty proud about that. Um, so yeah, that answers the question for how did I know how much weight I wanted to lose? And then another question that I have here is that, was I scared of loose skin or stretch marks? So when I first started to gain weight, I noticed that the more weight that I gained, I started to get like stretch marks on my arms. And it's so sad. There was such a long period of time where I was literally wearing long sleeves for the longest time because I did not want people to see the stretch marks on my arm. It's like, I have stretch marks. I had stretch marks already before losing weight, even um, just like on my stomach and stuff too. So I wasn't really worried about, you know, stretch marks and stuff because they're already there. It's like, what are you scared of? And yes, I do got some briefs on because I had them on before this video, but I didn't want to be wearing briefs in a video there we go so back to the questions no i was not scared of loose skin or stretch marks nope. like i said i already had stretch marks before um ever since i was like a preteen and they were pretty long and big on my stomach so that was nothing for me to really be insecure about if i was going to be insecure about it i was insecure about it a lot more when i was younger but like i feel like the older that i get i've just I've grew to love every part about me, including my body, my imperfections, all of that. So I have another question here. It says, how, how do I pretty much stay consistent 
with um, having a healthy diet. So number one, it's not a diet. Stop calling it a diet because I feel like when you call things a diet or when you even tell yourself that, hey, this is a diet, it, it like automatically switches like, oh, we're eating completely different. And like, it's, it's not a diet. Like you need to change how you eat in general. Like it needs to become a lifestyle switch. You can't just do something for a few days throughout the month. You expect to still reap the results of, you know, from everything, if you're not doing that, if you're not consistent with it, you won't see results. You won't feel better if you're not consistent with eating healthy. It's just period, point blank. I literally, in one year, I changed how I ate. I was going to call it a diet. I was going to say, um, I changed how I ate for that complete year. And all that weight shed it off me. I did not go to the gym. I did not start working out until I lost weight. So keep that in mind, honey. Change it up. So that pretty much answers that question. Um, That was the last question, guys. I didn't even know that was the last question. So I'm um, trying to think of something else that I feel like I should answer. Um, This is just going to be something I rarely think of. Has it been easy maintaining my 70 pound weight loss? It gets easier. I'll say that. I'm not going to say that it's easy, but it gets easier when you learn what works for you. When you learn what foods work for you, it gets easier. Um, you know what you're supposed to be doing. It's just all about that action. Like if you're not... um making actions towards your goals, you won't accomplish anything. You won't accomplish anything. If you're not taking those steps to reach your goals, how are you gonna reach them? But just know, it may take a little bit of time, but you got this. Never let anybody um, discourage you because if they can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. But yes, I want you all to stay blessed, stay happy, stay positive. I am out, you guys. Bye.